Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Nicole from Organized Chaos Blog. Today I'm going to be sharing with you three quick and easy budget-friendly crock-pot meals for busy nights. Today's video is a collab with my friend Alicia from By Alicia Brook. She's a wife and working mom from small town Arkansas. She and her husband have two adorable young kids who are in school and involved in tons of extracurricular activities. They both also work full time for their family's tractor business, so they are always on the go and very busy. So just like me, Alicia loves her crock pot and relies on it weekly to get meals on the table for her family. So after you watch this, make sure you head over to Alicia's channel because she's going to be sharing three more easy and delicious crock pot recipes for you guys. We've also decided to team up and give away a crock pot to one of our subscribers so you can have the chance to try out some of these recipes on your own. To enter, all you have to do is be following both me and Alicia and leave a comment down below with an emoji of what your favorite meal is. The giveaway will run one week from when this video goes live and next Wednesday we'll be announcing the winner on Instagram so make sure you're also following us over there so you don't miss it. All the details will be in the description box below so make sure you check that out. First up is this slow cooker ravioli lasagna that I found off of Pinterest that I thought looked great. For this recipe, you need three 14 ounce cans of diced tomatoes. You actually need one large can of crushed tomatoes, but my grocery store was out of it and sub tomato sauce instead. So I'm just gonna mix in a little tomato paste just to kind of thicken it up and give it a better consistency for the recipe. You also need Italian seasoning, culture salt, balsamic vinegar, cooking spray, and two bags of frozen cheese raviolis. Later, you'll also see that I pull out a bag of mozzarella cheese, which I had forgotten to take out of the fridge when I showed the ingredients. So to start this recipe, all you need to do is mix together the diced tomatoes and the crushed tomatoes, or in my case, the tomato sauce with the little bit of tomato paste, your minced garlic, dry Italian seasoning, salt, and balsamic vinegar, and stir it together until it is combined well. Here you see I'm mixing in a good portion of that tomato paste just to kind of thicken up my sauce a little bit and make it a better consistency. Next I'm adding in about two cloves of garlic which I chop off camera and then I'm going to go ahead and measure in my balsamic vinegar, salt and Italian seasoning. Since we're from South Louisiana, we always like to add a little kick to our food, so I can't make something without adding a little bit of Tony Sacheries into the recipe. Once your sauce is combined really well, you can go ahead and spray your crock pot with a little bit of cooking spray just to make sure nothing sticks. Next, you're going to go ahead and layer your three main ingredients just like you would when making normal lasagna. So I'm starting with about two cups of the tomato sauce mixture, followed by one third of the ravioli. Make sure it's still frozen so it cooks correctly. And then finally, I'm topping it off with a little bit of the mozzarella cheese. Follow these same three steps to make two more layers of the mixture and then top it off with any leftover tomato sauce and cheese that you have remaining. Once you have the ravioli lasagna assembled correctly in your crock pot, you can go ahead and put the lid on it and turn it on low and let it cook for about eight hours. 
This meal was a huge hit, especially with the kids who love cheese. However, I will say out of the three recipes I'm showing, it is my least favorite. But next time when I cook it, I will make sure to add ground beef to it and I think we will love it even more. We're just a meat family and my husband was not impressed that it had no meat in it. But overall, this was a winner. Next up is this taco soup recipe. To make this, all you need is one quarton of beef broth, diced chili peppers, diced tomatoes, some frozen corn, ground beef or turkey, taco seasoning, a medium onion, and some chopped garlic. First, go ahead and cut your onion and your garlic into bite-sized pieces. You can also easily use the pre-minced garlic out of the fridge, which I often go to on busy weeknights. Okay, now this next step is optional. Anytime I'm cooking something in the crock pot that involves ground beef or ground turkey, I usually prefer to brown my meat ahead of time just so I can drain any excess fat. But this is definitely not a necessity. If you wanna just throw the meat into the crock pot as is, it will cook just fine like that. I took this ground beef directly out of the freezer so it is still a tiny bit frozen, which is why I also wanted to cook it on the stove top first. While the meat is browning on the stove, I'm gonna go ahead and add everything else to my crock pot. So I'm starting off by first putting in the chopped up garlic and onion, and then I'm gonna add the green chilies. This doesn't really add much spice to your food, so even if you're scared of spice or don't want it to be peppery, you can still add this in. Next, I'm going to add one large can of diced tomatoes. Then I'm going to dump in a whole bag of frozen corn. I couldn't find the plain frozen corn at our store, so I just got the steamable bag and it worked just as well. Then go ahead and add taco seasoning. Normally I do make my own seasoning, but today since I was in a hurry, I just grabbed one of the pre-made packets and it works just as good. After the ground meat has browned really well and I've drained all of the fat from it, I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the crock pot as well. Like I said earlier, the browning of this meat is not a necessity, so if you want to add the raw meat in, it would work just as fine. The last thing I'm going to do is add the beef broth. I did buy two cartons because oftentimes I like our soups to be extra brothy, but for this recipe, I found that one carton was plenty enough. Once you've added all of your ingredients, go ahead and give it a good stir. Cover your crock pot and you can cook it on high for four hours or low for eight hours. This is the perfect meal for cold winter nights when you just want some yummy comfort food. I've saved the best for last. Finally, I'm showing you how to make Mississippi roast. For this recipe, all you need is a chuck roast, a ranch dressing packet, au jus gravy mix, I like to use two packets, butter and jarred pepperoncini peppers. This meal could not get any easier and it is so delicious. Literally all you have to do is combine all of your ingredients into your crock pot. You don't even need to brown the roast ahead of time. The recipe does call for just one packet of the au jus mix, but I like extra gravy in our roast, so I went ahead and added two packs. 
I also sometimes put a little bit water just to give it even more gravy. When it comes to the peppers, you can add as few or as many as you like. We love a little spice to our food, so I add about half of the jar and it gives it just the perfect flavor. Once all of your ingredients are in the crock pot, cover it and cook it on low for about eight hours. This is a recipe we discovered over the summer and we love it. I think we've probably eaten it once or twice a month since I've cooked it for the first time. It's amazing, trust me, you have to try it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.